guys. Welcome to your um, love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your July 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see um, the person that you you are in no contact with. If it's a good idea for you to reach out to this individual, so apply this to your own unique situations, uh, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, and what will happen if there's any sort of communication. So apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Scorpio, the person that Scorpio is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Scorpio to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with for July 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. So we have the Ace of Cups. We have the four of wands. Believe it or not, this person, you have this person's heart, okay? I do feel like this person loves you very much. I do feel like this person does see commitment, stability, and happiness here with you, okay? But I also feel like with the tower card, Aries Scorpio energy, you know, you have been through the situation with this person here. Any sort of relationship and anything that you have built with this person, I just feel like it just doesn't really hold up. Yeah, I just feel like it doesn't really hold up here. And I feel like you just know or that you expect something to shift or change very quickly again. And I feel like you're just not ready to deal with that again here, Scorpio. Ten of Wands here in the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Seems like you're definitely in this energy of letting this person go. Yeah. Even though this person has your heart, you just know, you just know that nothing good is going to come out of this situation here because this person's so immature. This person makes a lot of false promises here. This person has a lot of burdens and a lot of childhood pain. The Ace of Cups here and the Ace of Wands, this person is still very passionate about you here. We have the Four of Wands here and the Lovers. You, between you and this person, this person is realizing that you do have a strong bond. You do have a strong soul tie here. But I feel like this person just cannot get it together. The Tower and the Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles here. This person wants it all with you. This person is all that you could think of. This person fantasizes about you a lot, fantasizes, fantasizes about a relationship here with you a lot. The Ten of Wands here and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. This person does not have anything to offer. This person does not have anything to give. They also know that here too. They know that they can't offer you what you want, but this person really wants this really badly here with you. They're just not mature. They just are not on the same wavelength, vibration, and consciousness as you to make this happen here with you. Um, so I feel like you're gonna be a bit surprised about how this person feels about you. Perhaps you already know, but also you know that this person can't give you what you want. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know? Look out for work on for the, um, the month of July 2024, what will happen if there's any sort of communication between Scorpio and the person that they are in no contact with for July 2024 for Scorpio? For Scorpio. We have the Two of Swords. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, we have the Four of Cups. This person is thinking about you a lot. This person is also very confused here. The Three of Pentacles in the Strength card. I feel like they're trying to remain patient with themselves here, but I also feel like this person does want the opportunity here to work things out with you. I feel like this person wants you to be patient with them here, but I feel like your patience has worn thin with this person here. I just feel like you just don't have any more time and energy to give this person because you just feel like you're going to waste your time with this person here. 
I just feel like this person is just making you very unhappy and I feel like you just don't want to stay in a place or be with someone here that doesn't make you happy. All right, what else do we have here? The two, uh, two of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Any sort of communication that comes in from this person here, you're just going to block this person here. Yeah, I just feel like you just don't have that fight within you anymore because I feel like you just don't want to walk on eggshells with this person. I just feel like you just don't want to worry. I just feel like you don't want to be stressed out about this person anymore. I do feel like they're trying to reconcile here with you. They are seeing you as their wish fulfillment, but I also feel like you're finding closure in the situation here where you're moving on and you're focusing on your healing here. I just feel like you've learned some big lessons here regarding the situation here, Scorpio. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation this no contact situation here with scorpio we have the six of swords we have the full aries energy aquarius energy the two of wands here the nine of cups i feel like when it comes to this situation this is the best decision that you can make for yourself yeah you don't want to be someone's doormat here okay and i feel like you just want to be freed from the situation here you just don't want to feel like you're being used by this person you know i just feel like you just want to be happy you're going, to distance, you're going to distance yourself from this person. You're going to introspect, self-reflect, and heal, and just really focus on your happiness and put yourself first here. Okay? We have the King to Queen of Cups. Interesting. Look. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, this person is someone here who's very narcissistic, very toxic, emotionally abusive here. I do feel like this person will reach out to you. This person has some deep inner demons here that they have to deal with in order for them to come to a place of homeostasis so that they could be with you here in a relationship. This person has to work on themselves. This person has to work on themselves. The Magician, uh, Gemini Virgo, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Chariot. Right now, in this very moment, as you move forward here, I just feel like you're trying to manifest. You're not looking back on the situation here. You're focusing in your work here. You're just focused on moving forward here. Yeah, you're just fo focused on moving forward here, uh, Scorpio. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they will try and come back over and over and over and over again. They will try. They will keep trying here. I mean, this is a situation that's very kind of like demented because I really feel like this person does care about you. You know, you have their heart, but I just feel like this person's so conflicted here. I just feel like, like I said, I just feel like it's an energy where I feel like this person just cannot get it together. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.